This video is sponsored by Advix. With over 30 years of OE expertise, Advix engineers and manufactures the aftermarket's most advanced, ultra-premium brake products. Visit AdvixAftermarket.com to learn more. Parts specialists do their best to explain the differences between a value-grade part and a premium part. And at some point in their career, every parts pro has dealt with a customer who fires back, just give me the cheapest one, they're all the same. Experienced counter pros know that not all parts are created equal, and contrary to what some of your customers might think, this also applies to brake fluid. In the previous video, we talked about how the boiling point of a brake fluid can mean the difference between a properly functioning brake system and brake system failure. That's why the boiling point is one of two key standards that the Department of Transportation has established for brake fluid that's sold in the United States. The other critical standard is viscosity. In the simplest terms, Viscosity is a measure of the thickness of brake fluid, especially at low temperatures. When you're driving on a cold morning, you don't want the brake fluid to be so thick that it impedes the hydraulic pressure needed to activate the brakes. The brake fluid needs to be thin so it flows easily, which means it has a low viscosity. A higher viscosity number means a slower flow of fluid. In modern braking systems, the viscosity of the brake fluid is critical for the operation of the ABS hydraulic control unit. Pressures inside the ABS hydraulic control unit can exceed 3,000 PSI. If the brake fluid doesn't have the correct viscosity, the fluid can cavitate when it's forced through the pump or valves. Cavitation produces tiny bubbles in the fluid, which can affect the performance of the hydraulic control unit. Viscosity is measured by how the fluid spreads out over a surface in a measured amount of time. For brake fluid, the measurement is millimeters squared per second. As we mentioned in previous videos, the U.S. Department of Transportation has established certain performance requirements for brake fluid, grouping them into categories such as DOT3, DOT4, and DOT5 based on their boiling points and viscosities. The DOT standards mirror ISO 4925 by the International Standards Organization and three grades established by the Society of Automotive Engineers, SAE J1703, SAE J1704, and SAEJ1705. For example, a DOT3 ISO 4925 Class 3 and SAEJ1703 brake fluid has a maximum viscosity of 1500 millimeters squared per second at minus 40 degrees Celsius. On the opposite end of the spectrum, an ISO 4925 Class 6 and SAEJ1704 brake fluid has a maximum viscosity of 750 millimeters squared per second. These are commonly referred to as low viscosity brake fluids. Advix recently launched a new line of ultra premium synthetic brake fluid, DOT3 and DOT4 LV. Both of these brake fluid formulations deliver the highest wet and dry boiling points in the industry, according to the company. And DOT4 LV features extreme low temperature viscosity that meets class six specifications. That means this brake fluid is tested to perform in the most extreme environments, delivering reliable and consistent brake system operation, even at the coldest temperatures. Not all brake fluid is created equal, and for your customers who tell you they're all the same, we'll delve a bit deeper into this subject in the next video. Thanks for watching.